Hey guys, it's Kate, and today I'm gonna be doing a review, comparison, demo, and wear test on two mascaras. So one of the mascaras is really new. It's the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. So right here, and the comparison I'm gonna be doing is against the L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise Mascara. So this mascara, if you've seen previous videos of mine, this is my all-time favorite mascara. I feel like L'Oreal has some of the best mascaras, like the L'Oreal Telescopic, the other L'Oreal Voluminous. I'll put those on the screen. Those are amazing mascaras. So when this one came out, especially because it's in like the same pink packaging, I'm very hopeful and I wanted to test it out for you guys, compare the both and then see throughout the day if the mascaras flake or what they do because I'll admit my L'Oreal Lash Paradise one, which I honestly, I do love. It really is my go-to mascara, but as I mentioned in the demo, it sometimes does flake. So I was hoping that maybe with this new one, it wouldn't flake and it also claims that. So I'm just gonna go over each mascara. I'm gonna put the details about the new L'Oreal Air Volume here and I'm also gonna talk about them. Same with the L'Oreal Voluminous, I'm gonna put here. So for the new L'Oreal mascara, the L'Oreal, it's like a tongue twister, Air Volume Mega Mascara. It retails for $13.99, which is kind of high for a mascara, but L'Oreal's mascaras are usually a little bit more pricey. It comes in a couple different shades. I got the shade Blackest Black. It comes with 0.28 ounces. And the claims of the product, first of all, it claims that it lasts up to 24 hours, which I'm not gonna be wearing it for 24 hours. I'm probably gonna be wearing it around eight, but I'm still curious to see if it smudges, flakes, transfers, things like that. Um, the brush is, it is like a, not, it's not a huge brush. It's kind of like a medium sized brush with um, like spiky bristles. I'll show you closer ups in the demo. So it claims that it's supposed to separate lashes with those like bristles. It's supposed to be smudge and flake resistant, which if it actually is, this will be my go-to mascara. But I will admit, I did sort of try this mascara yesterday for a couple hours. I kind of wanted to get my, how I feel about it so I could tell you guys. I feel like it did, I saw a couple flakes. I did see a couple flakes, but we are testing it out again, so we're gonna see how that goes. Um, it claims lots of volume and weightless. So now onto the mascara that I use every day, the older L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This one's actually $10.99, so it's $2 less, but it also comes with the same amount of ounces, so 0.28 ounces. This is also in the one blackest black. And this one doesn't have as many claims. It says like volume and length and that it's supposed to be very, very black, which I do agree with. So I didn't want to spend too much time talking. I wanted to give you an overview of both of the mascaras and jump into the demo. i am be doing the demo and then a wear test for probably about eight hours. So we're really gonna see how these mascaras match up against each other. And I'm just gonna jump right into the demo so you can see how they work. So I do want to show you the wand. As you can see, it's like a smaller, spikier wand. So it really gets in between your lashes. Now these are the wands side by side, so I'll really show you. As you can see, the Voluminous Mascara is a lot thicker. So on an everyday basis, I actually do not curl my lashes, so I'm not gonna be doing that today, but I'm gonna go in with the new one, the Air Volume First on this eye. Now something I was actually really excited about when I tried this yesterday is that the wand is small enough that I can use it on my lower lashes. With the other mascara, the wand's too big, I can't really get in there so I use a different mascara, but this one I'm able to, so that's good. It's like two in one for me, I'm happy. The only thing is that me doing mascara on my lower lashes is always hard to do on camera. So that's about one solid layer of this mascara. One thing I did notice is that I do have to go in like with three layers to really get the desired effect that I want to kind of match the other one. Whereas when I use the other L'Oreal one, I kind of just have to put on one coat and it's ready. But this one doesn't really have any issues like that one. I like I put it on, I don't have to go in and fix it or anything. As you can see, it does volumize my lashes and sort of lengthen them. But when I put on the other um, mascara, you can kind of see that this one doesn't lengthen it as much, but this, is what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna let it set for like a minute. And even with a second coat, it doesn't really cause many issues. Like it doesn't really clump too many things up. I don't have to go in and like fix this. Sometimes I have to go in and fix it with like tweezers and stuff and like pull my lashes apart. So actually two coats kind of got the desired effect that I wanted it to. As you can see, it actually, it lengthened my lashes a lot more this time yesterday. I feel like it didn't lengthen them as much. And they are very thick goes on really well, I have no complaints. The one thing that I'm very particular about with mascaras is them flaking off. As I said in the intro, the new L'Oreal mascara claims to not flake or anything. When I wore it yesterday, 
there was some flaking even after a couple hours, but we're gonna test it again today. And we're also gonna test it against the other L'Oreal mascara, which does flake on me. It really does. But when I use the L'Oreal primer with it, it doesn't usually, so. But that's also like buying two mascaras, which is kind of annoying. Now, as I mentioned, with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, I can't go on my lower lashes because the brush is too big. So I always go in with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. So I'm just gonna go off camera and put this on my lower lashes and then we're gonna get right to it. Okay, so I'm back and we're gonna start to apply this mascara. So here's two coats of the L'Oreal Air Volume and then one coat of the L'Oreal Voluminous. Okay, you can actually really see the difference. So this is what kind of what I found yesterday with the new L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. It doesn't like naturally curl my lashes or lengthen them that much. It's more like a lot of volume with like spiky lashes versus the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I don't know if you can tell, I think you can. These lashes are significantly longer and they're more like up and curled. So personally, I prefer the mascara on this side. I also feel like this one is actually more clumpy, which kind of surprises me than this one. But I do want to see how it wears throughout the day. I think I'm gonna be wearing this mascara for about eight hours. So I want to see how it flakes or transfers because I will admit this mascara on this side does flake and transfer kind of often too if i use the primer that goes with it not as much but i'm kind of curious because if this mascara doesn't move at all it might be worth keeping so i'm gonna go off camera and film the intro and everything i haven't done that yet but the next time you'll see me it'll be about an hour and a half i do want to show you the time so right now it's 7.47. Actually, you might see me more like an hour right before I have to babysit. I'm gonna show you everything in natural lighting. Not that that matters too much, but it still matters somewhat. I'll show you if there's any flakes on my skin or anything. Then I'm gonna go babysit and then I'll come back in about like eight hours and talk to you about it then. Okay, so it's actually only about an hour later. It's 8.35 in the morning. I have ibuprofen on my phone, so I need to, I get these headaches, these caffeine headaches. Even if I have coffee, it's so weird, but I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the mascara in natural lighting. Even though that may not matter to you, I just want you to really see it up close. So this is the new L'Oreal Mega Volume one, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise one. So honestly, now that I'm looking at them more, they look so similar. The one thing that still bothered me though is the fact that I tried to get that off and it just simply would not come off. This is the new mascara. I got some other bits of it on my skin and it sort of came off easier but I don't know. That chunk I literally cannot get off and if I got a chunk like that with this mascara I could wipe it off easily. So that's kind of tough if you're someone who usually gets a lot of mascara on their eyelids like me when you're putting on mascara. This this new mascara may not be for you. But the next time you'll see me, so it's 8 30, will probably be around 2 or 3. I'll check in right after I babysit and then I'm gonna wear it for a couple more hours after that So we're really gonna put these to the test. Hey guys, so it's uh, 2 12 right now. I just got out of babysitting um, I think I've been wearing the mascaras for about six and a half hours now on a normal day I wear mascara for like 8 to 10 and wow, okay <laughs> Okay, I'll zoom you in so you can see what I'm talking about This is the mascara that I wear on a daily basis as you can see it transferred and this happens a lot it'll transfer on my lids because my eyelashes are really long and they constantly are like you know against that skin it did transfer and this one didn't this is the new l'oreal like mega volume mascara so i am very impressed l'oreal did say it would last 24 hours it said no transferring or flaking i feel like there is a tiny bit of flaking but not nothing compared to honestly this one i feel like this one flakes a lot more because most honestly mascaras smudge on me up here but this one doesn't as you can see the like i said earlier though this is just it's so hard to get off the skin i don't know if it's just because that like one clump or what that's kind of difficult for me to get over but i guess i could just be not as messy with my mascara when i apply it so i do want to show you i am going to just kind of wipe this is what i would do if my mascara transferred i just kind of go so it does kind of, you know, make it disappear a little bit, but we'll, we'll see in a couple hours if it comes back. I'm hoping you can really see everything. There are some flakes on this side. I'd say the, there's like one or two or three ones. I feel like they're, they are a little bit bigger though than this side. Because I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to really get in the lighting. 
there's like one flake I think on this side. I think it's like right there. It's hard to tell on the camera. Now I'm gonna zoom out because I'm so close, but I'm gonna wear this mascara for probably about three more hours or maybe four, about the eight to 10 hour mark probably. And I'll update you guys then about how much I like it. But honestly, I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm really up close so you can see everything, but right now it is 518. So I think, is that like 10 hours of wearing these mascaras? I really did put them to the test, but okay, I'm sad. The mascara, the L'Oreal Mega one, see it transferred, transferred down here, which this mascara, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous one, never transfers here. It only ever transfers there as you saw earlier, but this one transferred on the bottom lashes. I mean, on the bottom skin, slightly transferred up there, but I don't really see any flakes, but also I don't really see any more on this side either. That's kind of, I mean, it is the 10 hour mark. You need to take this with a grain of salt because most people wouldn't really wear mascara for this long. But this is kind of the end. I mean, my opinion is that I'm probably not gonna wear it just because of the transferring here. That's kind of a deal breaker for me. If you don't usually have a problem with transferring, I recommend trying this mascara. As you see, as you saw earlier, it didn't transfer up there earlier, but then it transferred now, I don't know. It says it's supposed to last 24 hours and I don't know if I exactly believe that. But that's gonna be the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I really hope you enjoyed it.